Welcome to our tutorial about what's new in working with equations in SOLIDWORKS 2013. I've got a 100mm by 50mm sketch in the graphic area. Let's activate the extruded boss command. Select the sketch. So what's new is that in many numeric fields we're able to enter equations or create variables. Let me just pull in a list here that I created to show you the part features and the assembly features for which this option is available. Now before I create a variable, let's specify the depth of the extrusion, say 22 millimeters, tab to register. We can also use the spin box to enter the number. This will change the value by 10 millimeters. If I press down the Alt key, I'll change the increment by 1 millimeter. Using the Control key will change the increment by 100 millimeters. The values of these increments we can set in the Options dialog window. System Options tab. Spin box increments. And here we can enter the values for both the Imperial and Metric system. Back to our extruded cut. 22 millimeter, tab to register. Now let's highlight the value. And here's the syntax, equal sign, double quotations. Type in the variable name, I'll call it myVar, M-Y-V-A-R. Close the double quotation and click accept. Click this button here to toggle between the variable name and its value. Okay, let's accept. To edit this value, we can manage it in the Equations folder. Right-click, Manage Equation. Here's the global variable, myVar, and here's the value, 22 millimeters. Notice we don't have the units listed here. Let's cancel out of this window. Watch what happens now. Currently, I'm using MMGS, that's millimeters, grams, and seconds. Now let me switch to inches. Now our depth displays as 22 inches instead of 22 millimeters, so big difference. Let's go to Tools on the main menu strip. Scroll down to Equations. And let's click in this field and select the units. I've selected millimeters and let's click OK. Now when I switch the standard to inches, the number in millimeters is just converted to inches. And let's restore millimeters. OK, let's right click on Boss Extrude 1, Edit Feature. For the second depth, we'll enter an equation. The syntax goes like this. Type the equal sign. Now let's select this dimension. Divide it by 5, so use the forward slash, 5. Tab to register. Once again, we can toggle between the equation and the value using this button. Here we can specify whether to use a draft angle and its value, let's say 5 degrees. Now let's enter the equal sign, double quotations. Inside the double quotations, type my variable 2, my var 2. Make sure you close the double quotations and accept. Once again, we can switch between the variable name and the value here. Let's use a chamfer now. Select this edge. My chamfer options are angle distance and distance distance. Let's get into the distance field. Equal, two sets of double quotations, and in between those we'll type my var 3, accept. And for the angle value, let's use 45 degrees, tab to register. Now highlight it. Equal sign, two sets of double quotations, and in between them type my var 4. And accept. Let's click OK. Let's create one more chamfer. I'll select this edge here. Equal sign. Let's select global variable 3. OK. Down below, also an equal sign, and let's select global variable 4, which is 45 degrees, you may remember. 
Remember that my first variable's value is 22 millimeters, but the rest of the variables don't show the units of measurement. Let's divide here by 3, for example, and accept. And let's click OK. Once again, right click, Manage Equations. Let's type the units of measurement here, let's say millimeters, and click OK. By the way, we can combine units of measurement in one equation or when defining a variable. So for example, we could say 22 millimeters plus 1 inch plus 2 centimeters. And SolidWorks will be able to evaluate this correctly. Let's click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on what's new when working with equations in SOLIDWORKS 2013.